Good afternoon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, doing a acrylic pour for you today, and I'm using my homemade Swifty Swipe tool. It's a very crudely made um, swiping tool. Uh, used from just an old spatula and I just cut out a piece of the soft plastic file divider and I've taped it on that way so the back is nice and flat for swiping so you swipe any which way but loose so that's that so that's my crudely made swifty swipe so if anybody knows a manufacturer out there that can make us some swifty swipes of all different um, attachments on it that would be good wouldn't it instead of having this crudely made one so I've got my lovely um, I think it is a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas I've put my uh, masking tape on the back I haven't put my push pins in today I'm resting it on this cake uh, cooler because believe it or not I don't want to use the hammer to hammer my push pins in because my little puppy is my little baby fur baby is asleep beside me and I t <laughs> when I first put the hammer and hammered one of the push pins in he near enough pooped himself so um, he's obviously not used to really loud noises so until I get him a bit used to more noise around the place I didn't want to alarm him with the hammering in of the push pins. So there you go. That's the story. I'm going to do com two completely different contrasts on this side. I'm going to go metallics on this side or whatever side. I'm getting paint from all over the place here. It's my previous pour. Trying to do the right thing and s not use too many of these puppy pee pads but I'm picking up all the paint from the previous pour so maybe I'll just turn it over it's only got plastic thing underneath it so there you go I have used my um, silicon mats but they've got paint all over drying at the moment so I don't have enough of them to keep up with the silicon mats because trying to dry the paint on them to peel it off so I don't wash it down the sink trying to do the right thing and um, so but sometimes it just doesn't work that way okay yeah two different contrasts and I'm going to do the diagonal on a diamond and I'm going to use the swifty swipe so so I might go with my brighter colors first which are I'm using the uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics my lovely uh, Montmartre paints with the uh, pouring medium the pouring medium recipe and how I mix my paints the information is in the drop-down box underneath this video so here we go let's get going Yes, we're having lots of fun with this little puppy. He's keeping us busy, that is for sure. So that was the Aqua. It's one of the new colours in the... Got all these lovely new colours um, in Australia. And I think they're available most places now overseas too on Amazon. I have got a link underneath to the US suppliers that should get you... Um, to a site I believe that sells the Montmartre studio acrylics and the pouring medium that I use so this is the cerulean so I'm kind of going all oceany colors or sea colors aren't I sky colors or whatever you would like to call it On this side, um, I might put in the 
This is the orange by Montmartre, but I've added a good dash of the yellow, bright yellow, because it really lifts that colour, so it becomes really, really nice. And I love it with these kind of aquas and turquoise colours. So that will do. And I'll just bung in a bit of white in there, just plain white. All of this has got two drops of the Helmar silicon, but that is in the information underneath this video also. Okay. That will do on that side. I might just give this a little, just slightly tilt it to get it to cover all the little blank holes. Probably should have done the other side color too, but some crazy ideas coming in my head for different pours this week it's been a busy week for us though with different things one thing and another so I have had to slow down a bit okay beautiful those are such they're gorgeous colors what do you think I think those are beautiful together beautiful beautiful um thank you guys again i want to thank you thank you so much for um well one for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't done so please do so it's free totally free and it helps me and i seek no money from you guys so it helps me keep going um, and the other thing, just the most outstanding, beautiful comments I've been getting from you guys. I so um, humbled by your lovely comments and your support. And so many lovely people are joining us on our Australian acrylic pouring group. And it is for everybody. It's not just for Australians. There's my hubby in his squawker. Um, did I want to put in here? Okay, I will put in just a bit of this lovely orange with the lemon added. Just bear with me. Now I am going to go the gold. Go for gold. So this is the Montmartre gold. It's absolutely gorgeous, shimmery gold. Beautiful. Um, and I have done this a lot thicker because it just seems to disappear if I don't. So, beautiful golds going in there. Oh, little puppy, you're, oh, you're up, are you? No, my baby. Puppy's woken up. <laughs> On the, the little baby that I didn't want to wake up with my banging the hammer in. So that's the gold. I'm going silver as well. So it's gonna be two completely contrasting sides, but I hope that they still meld together beautifully. So these are the lovely metallics. And you can make so many colors out of these metallics too. Beautiful. Now, this one I have made up. This was the um, burnt umber. Was it? No, not burnt umber. No, sienna. Burnt sienna. I think it's burnt umber. It's not brown. And then I add gold. So probably equal parts. If and it's got this really lovely russety sheen because of the. Um, the metallic in the gold. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Love it. So this one's like autumn, isn't it? <laughs> sort of autumny colors. Or earthy and ocean or whatever you choose it to be. 
and I've made a little boo-boo mistake. I can see myself in that I should have waited to tilt both sides at the same time because now I'm going to re-tilt what I've already tilted, but try and do it really slowly so it's, um, you know, doesn't lose too much of this side. This will be interesting. Do you often go to sleep and wake up with these ideas in your head of what you want to pour or what you want to try? Oh, it's quite disturbing some nights. I have to get up and write it down and like your brain don't go to sleep. And I'm needing some sleep of late. <laughs> I've not had some very good night's sleep just recently. That hour. Go through stages like that. I'm sure we all do, men and women. <laughs> So just taking it so it's covering the canvas nicely. Don't worry about your edges or stress out over the very sides because they're quite easy to just pick up some paint from the drop off, from the what's dripped and just finger pop the very edges. It doesn't make any difference because it's all gonna, I won't do up there because I can't see what I'm doing, but there's no stress over anything. It'll all come out. Okie doke. Now, I'm going to go over in the same swipe colour, believe it or not, for both. So I'm going to use the straight phalo blue. This is quite runny um, and it has got the two drops of silicon in. I just wanted to do it runny, hoping that it will... Um, only just not uh, dominate the whole thing so let's just see how we go you just got to try it not stress over it too much she says okay beautiful 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 so we'll go with the shall I try this first okay so this is the swifty swipe all I need to do or, or if you try making yourself one of these is just put the first maybe half a centimeter into your swipe color and just let it rest and then pull it gently towards you you beauty didn't know how it's gonna go over the kind of autumny colors there, but I thought, well, you just gotta try these things and I'll try them and then you'll know if it fails not to try it, but I'm absolutely certain by the look of that, that it's gonna look pretty good over these colors. Just slowly just draw your swifty swipe or your swipe tool, whatever you're using, towards you nice and slow. And wipe it off in between each swipe so you don't, you're not dragging the paint over it. Dragging paint that you've already dragged, should I say, because that's kind of, can give it an opportunity to make it go muddy if you do that. So that's what I find with doing swipes than um, any other style is that it less likely your paint going muddy because the colors are just sliding gently over one another and not mixed being mixed too fiercely so that's looking gorgeous so how's it looking to you guys good oh I hope I really think those are gonna come out and dry beautifully the metallics with the metallics in it okay getting in a mess which I always do I've got this little puppy right underneath my feet even though I made a little bed for him to lie on to the side no he's chosen underneath my feet I'm gonna go to the center and well not the exact center obviously because I didn't get that right close to the center. That's the thing with this, putting this pee pad up the other way, it's not allowing me to uh, clean off my swipey tool very well. So I'll just use my cloth. I 
and I have got an apron on today. I've been trying to put an apron on because I've been going through so many clothes that I've used to paint and then found me covered in paint. And then the other day I'd been using my apron to do maybe two pours and then I took it off and went and had it lunch come back poured and then what did I do but wipe my hands and my swifty swipe down what I believe was my apron but no it was my clothes because I'd forgot to put the apron on so definitely a silly jilly okay keep with me guys it's gonna be gonna I'm it's going to be a stunner I've just got that feeling in me water it's gonna be a stunner I did dream about this, so <laughs> it's either going to be a dream or a nightmare. Okay, let's do this. Don't worry about odd bits that don't look at or quite gone over because they they all add to the interest in the pour. Nothing has to be perfect. Remember, it's just paint. If it turns out so bad you don't like it, you just scrape it. It's paint. No big deal. Remember, the only rules are, there's no rules. So there you go. Swifty swipe, it, it is a lot easier to, because you've got that angle and it's a lot easier to hold than maybe some people can't control like a, a big piece um, of whether you're using the soft plastic file divider or whether you're using a piece of... Um, uh, what you call it, what you call it, uh, kitchen roll or whatever to swipe with, what some people swipe with. That's just easier for me anyway. I like it. And here goes my little heat wand. Oh, wow. Are those little champagne cells. Oh, beautiful. So this just heats your paint slowly, not hot like um, the gas. I just believe it's a lot kinder to your artwork. Beautiful. Now, what that will do over the next half an hour, it'll continue to develop. And um, hopefully those gorgeous colors will pop through, but I am definitely coming back to do, do my beloved balloon embellishment. For those that don't like the balloon embellishment or don't want to watch any further, then thank you so much for watching up to this point. Um, and you can do this uh, up to this point. But if you want to see my balloon work, just bear with me for a little while and I'll be back in a second or two. But it'll really be after my cup of coffee. So back again. Back again for my... I'm going to do balloon slide. So I've turned it... Probably put it back that way see how we go so it's been left maybe half an hour I've had a coffee and I've had a bite to eat so yeah it's been left for a good half an hour here we go actually I might turn it back because it's got a bit more support on the um, tray so a balloon slide a balloon slide so let's I'm just gonna give it a balloon kiss first to see how it's kissing that seems to be okay and I'm gonna slide it through so here goes wish me luck bring all those beautiful metallics up in it which it has the gold Stunning, stunning. Oh, beautiful. 
it's strange that I put those different colours on each side and the only colour that the same I put on the metallic side was a bit of orange and yet it looks very similar. So we'll see how it looks with some balloon rolls in there. So when I'm rolling, um, when I'm rolling, I'm sort of pushing in and doing like an S shape, but you're not dragging it, you literally are rolling. So it's not, it's, it's push it in and then an S shape around. And that's what gives you like that feather look and that lovely sort of, yeah, light feathery look in it. And I'll go back out. Oh, these gold, silver, and that sienna with the gold in is just glistening here. I don't suppose you're seeing it on the on the film, on the video, but it is. It's gorgeous. So let's give this a go this side. The trick is as well to try and keep your balloon as clean as possible. For your next roll like so that's the then you're least likely to get uh, paint muddying in it so I'm going to go off the slide and do a little roll might go back the other way oh, yeah, go back this way sort of any which way but loose okay it's just giving a bit in there it probably feels just about right really to balloon kiss it that's another thing I get asked when do you know it's sometimes you can balloon kiss it and all the paint falls back in then but but even if that happens sometimes it leaves a really nice effect that doesn't look like a balloon kiss it just makes the paint when it rolls back and goes into sort of butterfly shapes or you know nice shapes so it's not it, it can be a really nice thing um, with your paint is too wet as long as you sort of work with it and then other times I like to leave it between you know 15 minutes half an hour even longer if there was a lot of paint on your canvas um, yeah so it's kind of yeah it's diff different looks for different times you um, balloon kiss or roll in it but um, the the thing is is when you do it, I know a lot of people said, oh, it just goes to mush. Well, then you must be pushing your balloon in, then pushing it in again, then pushing it in again. So that's mixing. You need to make sure that you keep wiping off your balloon sort of in between each roll because it will muddy if you don't. And I think that, yeah, so that is probably the best description I can give you. This slide that I did through, I've got this lovely gold shimmery and silver shimmery line, really hoping that that stays. So let's, let's just, I'm just going to leave that. I don't want to give it too much now because I, I really like that. So let me know what you think, guys. So that's the diagonal, two different tones on on either side um, this one's coming through the gold now and the shimmery shiny and I've got the sort of oceany um, the cool sort of whatever whatever you think of it just let me know and um, and I hope that this helped some of you that have been asking me to give you a little bit more detail on the balloon kissing so as you can see you do actually push it push it down but if you've got the right consistency in your paint it shouldn't like um, go right through to your canvas and just leave your canvas showing it should still see your colors of your paints there so there we go I was that's it that's it for today I've uh, done enough my puppies want my attention and 
and that's what I'm gonna do so please let me know what you think um, give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't so much appreciate it I'll put some photos on at the end and um, yeah let me know what you think looking through my camera the view that you're getting it kind of looks 3d like you're looking like on the this side like looks as though there's like an ocean in there behind this frame of the feathering on that side anyway so it looks pretty good i think so so again it's only you that you have to please um if you are happy with it so be it so for now thank you very much for joining me have a good weekend and i will be back with some other things i've got in my head so until then bye for now take care